All right, so the old mining video is now outdated. There's better and faster ways to mine. I'm gonna show some of those ways. So in the pins on the Agents Collectors Club channel, you can find a really neat command that Mons made. Uh, let me find it. There it is. So you're gonna hit the pause button, hit enter with that command. You just copy paste it into the console and it'll spawn 16 random agents for you. Uh, then you'll go through all the agents to make sure they're all legal. No sentinel, tanker, spinner, stations, the lot. And that's pretty easy. You just give it a quick glance. This is sentinel. Delete it. Um, also, you might want to be in command mode to do this. It's a little easier to select ships. All I have to do is replace it with the agent command. That is not legal either. Just gonna get rid of that. That is also not legal. There we go. Does that have. Nope. Oh, and spinners aren't legal either. I don't know if I said that. Got some Star Wars ships in here. So this step is pretty easy. Just go through, make sure everything's legal. Once you know everything's legal, you can unpause it. These guys will duke it out. And whatever ship, faction, or a tie is left over. Uh, you either get to choose what you get at the end, or you just are given what you get. So let's say we watched the whole thing, and this is the guy who won. So all you have to do is let him fully regenerate, and then export the ship out. Select the ship, export the ship, then all you have to do is clear the board with the clear command and rinse and repeat. You can summon in a new lot of agents. Get you, uh, once you do this four times, you'll have the four ships you have for the wild battle. So that's all well and dandy. Uh, if your computer can't handle having this many ships on the screen at once, uh, what you'll have to do is do something like uh, do a few at a time. And uh, you can pretty easily take out ships this way as well. It's a lot of mobile ships. And just kind of let them go in little groups at a time. I recommend pausing before adding more though, because if a ship is illegal, it will do illegal things very quickly. Like these guys. Get them out. See, that's fine. Keep it going for a while. And that's how you can get up to 16 agents into one remaining ship without taxing your computer too hard. So, some other tips and tricks uh, for using the sandbox. Uh, you can notice how my console is pretty small. You can control the console size with the bracket keys pretty easily, as long as you're outside of the bracket. Also, one other thing, uh, after the wild battle, you'll have one to two collected ships and I will show you how to name said ships. So you'll import the ship you got. Which one was it? It was this guy. So this is Dreadnought by such and such. All you have to do is make sure the ship is selected, type in export, you want to put in the name first 
And then no spaces, put the collector's club tag. Then space, put in the author. And hit enter. So then, the ship has the right name and the right author now. And it should, yeah. These are now the correctly named ships. Uh, this is just so we can keep track of any ships that have been collected or are in anyone's collection. So it's easier for people to understand what they're stealing and what they have. And uh, that's all for now. I might be updating this video in the future if anything changes. For that, goodbye.